Hey Aquarius, how are you doing? This reading is for Aquarius for the second half of May mid-month reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful Aquarians? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. What's coming towards you? The Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. What you are focused on is the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. In your blocked in challenge position is the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And your outcome is the Hermit, Major Arcana, Four of Virgo, Okay, Aquarius, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords can be drama, conflict, strife, an argument, or somebody who argues for the sake of arguing, this person wants to be right, or trying to control a situation. There can also be an individual who is baiting or hooking you into some kind of fight or argument. Don't take the bait, which you're not, because here you have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is about emotionally detaching or emotionally withdrawn from a person, place, and or a situation. That's my milk has expired. The milk has curdled. Or you're just bored. You're bored of this person's games. can also be a bully, a bully in your environment. And the Empress, Major Arcana for Taurus Libra. And with the Empress, you know, this could be somebody who is an entrepreneur, a business owner, or there could be some kind of jealousy here in the air. Aquarius, I'm not going to lie. Like somebody is jealous of what you have created for yourself. Because, you know, the Empress, it's pretty luscious. But there can be, if this is like a person of authority or your boss, this person could be a little bit controlling. Or even a mother. But the Empress is all four queens in one. So you have some kind of status, but it speaks of abundance, fertility, and leaning back in this beautiful feminine energy, being open and receptive to what comes towards you, or you are creating something in the works. But the five of swords, it's like you're doubting yourself that you can create this, telling yourself mean things. So a need for you to be more kind and gentle and go easy on yourself because I feel like you have bright ideas or there's some kind of good news coming towards you and there could be some kind of um, disappointment. But I feel like this person is bored or dissatisfied in their own life. And so when they see another person like you here, Aquarius, doing well, they lash out and say things to try to make you feel small. Yeah, Four of Cups. Don't get distracted. And if people are trying to distract you from what it is that you are working on, a need to place healthy boundaries. Page of Wands, new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. This speaks of enthusiasm, passion, desire, and thinking outside of the box. Instead of only seeing one or two or three ways of handling something or getting something done, this is about you seeing that you are limitless when it comes to adjacent doors, limitless when it comes to opportunities, relationships, 8 billion people on this planet. So a new connection or just some kind of new creativity, artsy fartsy type of thing. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign here. That's my frisky kitty card. And the Five of Cups. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Five of Cups is loss, hurt, regret, resentment, remorse, crying over spilled milk. But not all is loss. You still have a lot of things in your life going well. I feel like this is another individual outside of you. They're having a tough go. But they're kind of doing the blaming and shaming towards you. This can also be you having to deliver some kind of news. And like I said, it might be uncomfortable for this person to hear, but I feel like it's necessary. Let's see what this Four of Cups is. And if you are bored, discontent, or dissatisfied in any area of your life, that is your soul desiring growth. Four of Cups can also be like rejection, like rejecting some kind of offer. And this person can try to like bait or hook you into a situation. But like I said, you're coming up against a page of wands. And the five of swords. Wow. Yeah, somebody's hiding out here. You have the five of swords there and the five of swords there, which equals the ten of swords. So here, there's like, um, watch your emotions here or watch the distractions. I'm just getting that you might be getting pulled into somebody else's gossip or there's something here happening in your external environment because your outcome is the hermit, which is to withdraw. Four of Cups, withdraw from the drama or the strife or the, the conflict. The game, the game playing. For some of you, this is like a child. Or man-child, woman-child. But you see how like this cat, it speaks of independence. But see how like this dog is trying to like make peace with you, give you a rose. Putting somebody in the timeout chair. Or that is like, this can also be deceptive behavior where Four of Cups is about distractions, comparing yourself to other people, comparing your work to other people, comparing your relationship to other people, comparing that you should be so much further along in your life and, you know, doing a good job of beating yourself up. But that can also be somebody else. Your blocked and challenged position is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is about adding something new, whether this is a hobby, a habit, a new creative outlet, or you have some kind of great idea, yet you're doubting that you can do this. So there's something about like um, a self-esteem issue here. Because this is self-care, self-love, self-acceptance. These, this page here is very important. So again, if you find yourself distracted, so instead of doing some kind of task that you know you need to handle and finding yourself distracted, um, time management, better time management. And something that you're working on, but you feel blocked and challenged from, This is about joining a group, a club, an organization, putting your resume out there, putting your feelers out there. Like if this is, has something to do with job and career. Yikes. And the Fool. Major Arcana 4, Aries. Well, the Fool card is about being spontaneous, being flexible or journey, travel, relocation, or going with the flow. 
And, you know, the universe is lining things up perfectly in the background here, Aquarius. You just can't see it. So if you are attached to an outcome or it needs to go this way, Page of Wands is your best friend. And when I say that, it means the energy you need to embody. So limitless when it comes to people on this planet. Limitless when it comes to places where you can relocate or move or job. And your blocked and challenged position is having some kind of new beginning. Or a direction. Like where you want to take your business. Or a new hobby and outlet. In your outcome, you have the hermit. Yeah, the star there. The hermit is about, again, withdraw, privacy, introspection, going within, shining a light on this situation. And the hermit has the star in the lantern and then you're on the bottom of the deck. This could be even, you know, your grandmother, your mother fighting with you. But I just feel like there's a little bit of like jealousy and it might be on your end or another person's and anger and frustration and rage is just underlining hurt and pain. So let's see what this hermit is about. The hermit can also be like a counselor. Or you're packed with knowledge and wisdom where you just know to like withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. And it's making another person angry that you're either not taking the bait on something or not doing something. Like they can't control you and they hate it. <laughs> and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And you might be withdrawing from a Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, yeah, studying, researching, or learnt lessons. Somebody could have been an aloof or acted foolish, and you could be blocking this person out. So Fool is Aries energy, Queen of Wands is Aries energy, and as you can see, there's one, two, three... Four court cards here. This can be a family dynamic situation. But reclaiming your independence. You know, Queen of Wands doesn't give a flying flip-flop to the flip of when anyone thinks or he or she. They just let it rip. But maybe they're taking a look at that. Like, huh. They're not reacting. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And or doing something solo and let it shine. Because this speaks of attraction and the Empress is very attractive. Yeah, you're a thing of beauty. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. That's about picking and choosing your battles wisely. But I feel like no matter what you do for a certain indi individual, there always are bored or boohoo, poor me, but what about me, Aquarius? They're never, never satisfied in their life. And the reasons why is they have their own thing going on internally, like their own internal struggle. A romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Maybe you're getting into some kind of new relationship, but you're keeping it quiet or private because there is somebody who is jealous very jealous around you. Could actually be a friend. 
let's see what the months that are significant for you and why. This can also be like a loss of commitment or just losing interest. March. I also just want to point out to have a balanced reading, you need all the elements on the board. In your blocked and challenged position is this page of pentacles on getting started on some kind of new um, hobby or something that floats your boat and emotionally withdrawn. So if this is a relationship in love, which I, I don't feel like it. I feel like it's more of your external environment and it's noisy and it's chaotic and it's annoying and it's triggering to you. But I feel like this is a lesson you need to learn is not to get caught up in this, not to get pulled into your friend's drama. Oh, you never believe what happened, all this kind of stuff, because it's pulling you off your focus. January. And June. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, and you have had June. So something significant in June. Also, yeah, with going back, the Four of Cups is emotionally withdrawn. So if this has something to do with love or relationship, there's no emotional investment, okay? So you're not emotionally attached. March marriage. Like I was saying, somebody else's marriage might be having some issues. And people could be coming at you, but it's actually distracting you from what you should be working on. Career. Maybe you made a career change. And happiness, beautiful. So great happiness is coming towards you. And again, going back to the jealousy and envy, you know, you might ruffle a couple feathers or somebody might be like, oh, well, why do you want to do that, Aquarius? Like somebody wants to make you feel small and it's because they're bored and dis disappointed in their own life and success. And I love this one. It's like sparkle, sparkle, like you, the star. I love my Aquarians. As you guys know, my mom's an Aquarian and she is this Empress. Let me tell you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.